Certain controls must be in place and adhered to when entering a confined space. Specific controls for each confined space will be determined by your risk assessment and depend on the risks. Some example controls are Appoint a supervisor to make sure necessary precautions are taken. Entry permit Require a permit to be obtained before entry. Competent staff Ensure staff have suitable training and experience. A CSE emergency and rescue plan must be in place and documented. Isolation. Make sure mechanical and electrical equipment is isolated so it cannot be turned on inadvertently when staff are in the confined space. Cleaning before entry. It may be necessary to ensure fumes do not develop while the work is being done. Provision of ventilation. You may be able to increase the number of openings and therefore improve ventilation. Testing the air. It may be necessary to check it is free from toxic and flammable vapours. Provide special tools and lighting. Non-sparking tools may be required where flammable atmospheres are likely. Provide breathing apparatus. If air inside the space is not safe to breathe or could become unsafe during the work due to gas, fumes, vapour or lack of oxygen. Emergency arrangements. These will need to cover the necessary equipment, training and practice drills. Rescue harnesses. Lifelines attached to harnesses should run back to a point outside the confined space. Communication. An adequate communication system is needed between those inside and outside the space. Alarm method. Ensure the alarm can be raised at all times quickly in an emergency.